Welcome back to my channel today, you guys. I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. I just wanted to come out today with this poreless primer right here. It's by e.l.f. So I saw this um, e.l.f. primer at the store yesterday, and it was at Target. If I could ever get it out of here. They have this thing packaged like, like it's a baby in a car seat, you know? They don't want me to get it out. And I feel like packaging is out to get me. So guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to rip it. Yeah, it is what it is. I tried to do it gingerly, but that's just not my style. We finally got to it. Now, like I said, I'm always on the hunt for a good foundation and a good primer. When you get more mature skin, it's harder to find a good primer that's not going to accentuate lines. You know, we don't want to accentuate anything. That's not what our goal is. It's to cover it. It's to make your beauty stand out, not to make your fine lines and wrinkles stand out. Like that's a no-go. So we're gonna go ahead and get this primer on, then we're gonna put our foundation and concealer on top, and let's see how well everything meshes together, okay? See that right there? It's just a regular flat brush. Again, I got these online on Amazon. I cannot remember how much they were, but they were relatively inexpensive, like $12 for a whole set. So the flat brushes always work for this. So just dip some of this in here, and I'm gonna put some right here. My eyes are done already, and we did a little collaboration with eye looks. I did my signature eye look on an Instagrammer, and she did her signature eye look on me. If you guys want to watch that video, I just posted that one up yesterday, and I'll link it in the description box below. It's good to do things with other people. I love to see different things. I mean, that's how we learn, you know? Okay, so now that I have the primer everywhere where I wanted it, I didn't put it around this area. That's not like a main concern of mine to prime right now. And for me, the less product on my face, the better. So I just wanted to prime the areas that I had the most pores. And that's all in here. And I left enough on my nose for a little bit. I blended that out last because I want to try to hold the foundation on there as long as possible. I do itch a lot and I do all this. I just, I had this problem, but you know, I don't know. But anyway... Let's see how this feels right now. It's a little, I don't know. I guess whenever I use e.l.f. products, they do feel a little greasy, you know, in the beginning. Um, just like that other primer that I used by them. And I did a review on that. That was one of my first videos. I guess maybe on my skin, it just feels, it just feels that way. It's not waxy. It's more just kind of like greasy. That's the best word I can come up with. So let's get some foundation on here. I'm going to use my... Fabulous Smashbox, which is almost empty, and I'm not gonna cry like I did the other in the other video, but you know who knows? Some tears might come out. And I'm going in with my Beauty Blender that I got from InStylish. Now, you guys, if you have not watched my video that I did a review on this, this is a really good Beauty Blender. It feels soft. It does a very good job. To me, I feel very airbrushed. I use it for my bronzer, I use it for my foundation, and I've never used a beauty blender for bronzer before, but this really just applies it very well. And I still have a code for this. You get 10% off if you want one of these. I'll link it in the bottom below. You know, get you one. They're relatively inexpensive. I believe this guy is like $12 or so. It just blends so well for me. I always feel like I have an airbrushed look this Smashbox, you guys, if you have not watched my videos... Where have you been? But this Smashbox right here, this Studio Skin, this so far has been one of my favorite, favorite foundations. And I'm very saddened that it's almost gone. It has lasted me quite a while. Now, I haven't used it every day because, for one, I don't put on foundation every day. I've used it three times a week. And man, it is a really good foundation. At least on my skin, it lasts all day. I have no problems with it. To this point right now, this has been the best foundation that I've used. And I always just apply it to the back of my hand because I don't know why I feel like if you put it on the sponge, I feel like the product just uses up faster. I don't, I don't know. It's probably all in my head. You know, Smashbox is listening. You guys can send me this product anytime you want. I'm just saying, I'm just putting it out there. It's an awesome product. All right, that's all set. So now I got my Tarte right here, my concealer. This is the Shape Tape. And I just also dab some of that right on the back of my hand. 
And what I've been doing lately is I've been using a flat brush just to pick up some of that product and just apply it right here. I try not to go too close under here. I try to keep it lower just so I'm not accentuating that area right there. So when I blend it out, it seems to blend a slight bit lighter instead of so heavy right under the eye. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but you see this area right here? It's just really puffy and I don't know if I just haven't been getting enough sleep lately, but and I don't like it. Just have to be careful where you're putting product. What fits the girl next door might not fit you. It's just, it is what it is, you know? So now what I wanna do is just tap it out with my fingers. I'm gonna show you how I do my bronzer with this. I'm telling you guys, this thing right here, it just works like a dream for me. And I'm not just saying that. I like to give real, honest reviews, and I just, I love this beauty blender. So here's my Lovecraft Beauty Bronzer, and all I do is just tap it. And I come in here, and I just tap away. So I kind of like tap and flick. And to me, it just gives such a light airbrushed look. I just, I'm, I'm loving it right now. You know, I don't always want a harsh line. And to me, this is just perfect. It doesn't give me a harsh line. I'm not really a blush girl, so I kind of just depend on bronzer. You know, maybe if I find the right kind of blush, I'll, be, I'll feel different about it. But for right now, I'm such a pinky toned color person. <laughs> That's not even a word, but it's okay. That's what I am. I have such pinkish undertones that I don't need blush, you know? Not like I don't like blush, but I'm trying to not be so red on a daily basis. And if you give me a good peachy color, a good kind of apricot -y color, I'll work with it. But maybe I just haven't found the right kind of blush. I don't know, you guys. In the world of blushes so far in my life, that Betty Boop one that I got in my Ipsy box has has been the best one so far. And that's saying a lot, because like I said, I just don't like blush. I'll just put it like right on the high tops of my cheeks. I don't go so much on the apples like everyone else. I don't want that redness in here. I just don't. It's my preference. It is how it is. I don't like that right there. Reminds me of Raggedy Ann. You know, do you guys know about that Raggedy Ann? Is that, is that not in your time frame? I don't know. I referenced a never ending story in my video yesterday. I don't think anybody knows what never ending story is, but yeah, I put that in my video. Probably gonna get a bunch of questions from people like, what the heck are you talking about, Kat? Don't make me feel old, okay? I just feel like that is such a nice, soft, subtle color. And I just love this, this beauty blender. I just, I really do. You can use a brush for this, you know? I just use this because, well, I discovered it when I tried it out last week and I'm, I'm living for it. If it works right now, it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's too much stuff that needs fixing. I'm pretty happy how that looks. We're not going too crazy. We're not going glam, full beat. My Ofra highlighter, pop that on my cheekbones. My flat fan brush right here. Again, this was from an Amazon collection. Just dip it in here, do a little down the nose, a little across. Added shimmer, I'm feeling it. All right, so for my lips, we're just gonna go in with this Pat McGrath right here, Dare to Bear. The way I like to look at things is when I have a lot of matte on my eyes, I like to kind of sometimes put a little gloss, you know, add that balance in there. You know, a lot of times I don't, I'll, I'll use my lip liner, but you know, I just feel like a nice glam eye like this can pop better with a pretty shimmer on the lips. So that is my end look. And I'm gonna tell you guys with this primer right now, this e.l.f. primer, I don't know what's going on, but I'm not feeling it so far because it does not look like it made it poreless. It kind of looks like it made some more texture 
on the skin. Look right here already. You know, I don't start off with that much texture and it seems like now I end up with it. Sometimes makeup isn't our friend. So this primer so far, I don't know, I don't know. See what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try a couple different things with it. I'm gonna try to apply it without the brush. Try to apply it with fingers only. I'm gonna try a different foundation on top. And we're gonna see if it's the primer that is leaving the texture or if it's just, you know, other products that you're using. Sometimes other products affect how a certain product works. You know, sometimes foundation doesn't work with it. It, it, it is what it is. You gotta do trial and error sometimes, you know, don't just give up. Try it out a few times, but like I said before, after multiple times of trying it, just call it quits and move forward. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in my next one. It's coming around the corner, so be ready for it, okay? And as always, you know how it goes. Spread the kindness, you guys. Share that love, okay? Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm waiting for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.